That's the first video I ever did that got views outside of my subscribers. I got 2,500. I only had less than 100 subscribers. Wow. So I'm like, okay, I got it now. And then BO3 came out and uh, I was trying to get some good gameplays, but my I was tripping. I wasn't recording shit, all kind of shit going on. And then I ended up, you know what? I'll just do a video on unlocking profits uh, specialist gear. Yes. Because that's what I'm working on. And just so happened to be that that was some hot shit that people were searching for because it was hard to unlock Prophet's gear. Yes, it was. I had been playing with Prophet since the beginning of the game because he was black and I'm black. Exactly. So I just click, click, clack. That's why I was playing with him. Prophet. So De Destiny just had it that I was the first nigga on YouTube to unlock Prophet's gear. So I had to come up with a strategy to get that shit done. And that's how my channel jumped off. And I realized that, yo, this video popular, so I done it for all the specialists. And that's how my channel, that's how I start getting noticed, man. Cause I did content on some shit that was highly searched. It was some hot shit. Yes, sir. You gotta make videos about some shit that's hot on the market. That's how I got noticed, man. Damn. Shout out to the motherfucking Prophet and all the BO3 specialists, man. That's what did it for me. And you know what? That's when I, that's when I think I, I subscribed or tuned in during that time, man. Yeah, them videos got promoted. And yeah. I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell motherfuckers a secret because I'm a real nigga. Them videos got a lot of promotion because they was highly searched, and also they were super short videos. Some of them was just three or four or five minutes. Yep. But because they were short, by the time it got to the end, everybody was still there. So my viewer retention rate was very high, and when you got a high viewer retention rate, your video gets recommended to a lot of people because that's like one of the highest metrics that YouTube values is your viewer retention rate. How long do the average viewers stay on your video? Mm. So that was that was a secret, man. Do short videos; they gonna stay there till the end. YouTube gonna promote the shit out of your shit. Damn, that's what happened. That's what happened. Unlocking profits gear, and you know I'm gonna pull that pull that video up now because I went I definitely went back and checked it out. You know, even though I didn't complete the challenge or whatever, mm -hmm. it was like, all right, <laughs> I want I want to unlock the gear so I can get these camos, the outfits or whatever, and you know what I'm saying. So, and you took right. it a, you took it a step further from unlocking uh, the gear. You went on to do a series called like not I don't want to call it a series but I guess you created a how to unlock hero gear. Yeah, that was the second character. step. That was the second yeah. step. Mm -hmm. So the hero like was that hard? I know that took your channel. Oh yeah, it was hard. Like each one of those videos probably took three or four days to get completed and get the footage for and make the video. Yeah, it wasn't easy. That's the thing. Like in the beginning of my channel, I was smarter. I was doing the shit that was hard, knowing that it was a race. Cause you know what I'm saying? It, that's it's, it's a race, bro. Mm. That's why you see with a lot of like when shit come out in Call of Duty world, everybody doing the same video cause it's a race. Yes. I knew it was a race. That shit paid off though. I got lazy after that and I just wanted to do what I wanted to do. Just make a regular gameplay video. That's what most like people want to do. They just want to make a gameplay video. That is the smartest thing for you to do. The smartest thing for you to do is what's the fuck is the hardest thing to do. You know, like right now, World War II got the crossbow in it. Yeah. This shit is ass though. Yeah, it is. Smartest thing to do would be to drop a V2 rocket with the crossbow. Uh -huh. That'd get a lot of fucking views. You know, as opposed to, you know, going ham with the ribbon rollers in my best class setup. You know what I'm saying? Anybody can do that. Anybody can't fucking get a V2 with the crossbow, mm. you know? Anybody can't, the sooner you can jump on some new shit, the better. I don't even know why I'm letting secrets out the bag, because the game is sold and I told them these niggas ain't paid a dime. Tell them. Be sure to patronize that super chat and that motherfucking donation button. Fuck with us. Salute to, salute to you for giving up the game about the game on the COD Show podcast. I'm your host, Diddy Onassis. AKA and that's kill him. I'm here with the murder show, aka kill. Merciless Badass. Kill. He just gave us the blueprint of how to get your YouTube channel from here to there. All right. Uh, uh, I like how you said that. Man. Took the words right out of my mouth, bro. Get your Man. shit from here to there. Man, I appreciate the game, but you And nobody gives a fuck about your gameplay. You better have some good commentary on top of that shit. Exactly. That's Real what gets talk. you through. And you know. 
like I always say, commentary is very necessary. It's so important. Um, it's a dying art, though. It's only a few, because I always ask people this question when they come on the show. Do you prefer streaming? No, streaming versus uploading content. Streaming. Me, my, me myself, personally, Yeah. I like consuming videos, a good commentary, 10 minute, 12 minute, whatever. Yeah. Commentary over gameplay. That's what I like to consume. 